In this segment, we will cover how to load a sheet of media. Start by bringing the latch down to lift the push rollers. If you are using the CE7130, take a moment and set the middle push rollers to the lightest pressure by bringing the switches to the uppermost positions. Next from the front, take the sheet of media and slide it into the media slot just under the push rollers. Hold it in place if necessary and position the push rollers into place. The push rollers have to be positioned over a grit roller in order for the drive system to work correctly. This may be difficult in that the media covers the grit rollers. GraphTech has simplified the process by marking each grit roller's position with a blue tab. You'll notice that the right push roller nearest the control panel has a longer blue tab because of the longer grit roller. That push roller can be placed anywhere within the blue tab. Keep in mind that the outside push rollers should be positioned as close to the edges as possible. Once the push rollers are in place, align the media by using the white notches on the front panel. Once aligned, latch the media to lock it into place. Once again, this menu appears. While we are going to press the 3 button for sheet, keep in mind that with a sheet of media, you can use the Roll 1 or Roll 2 options, but let's press the 3 key to select sheet. It starts by having the tool head locate the push rollers, making sure they are correctly positioned and to obtain the basic width of your media. Then the cutter will scan for the front edge and then scans for the back edge as well. This method is useful in that it informs the cutter of the total cut area of the sheet. This in turn helps the software such as Cutting Master 4 adjust the cutting area on the screen. Once the cutter initializes, it's ready to cut a job.